It is August 4th, 2023. I'm in Savannah, Georgia. And this is a heartleaf ground cherry. I just forgot the scientific name, but it's in the genus Phasalis, which is where tomatillos are, as you may recognize if you've grown tomatillos. And this was planted in my plant pot with a small flower pawpaw by some bird, because I assume birds are the ones eating them. And these are like super rare on a naturalist because they've only got like, I think it's less than 30 observations or something like that. But it has a purple stem, pretty recognizably purple stem. Let's pause for the people going past, playing loud music. Okay, anyways. Everybody has to be loud. Okay, anyways, it has a purple stem. This one has a really thick main stem. It's like ridiculous. That's the, this is the small flower pawpaw stem. This is the stem of the heartleaf ground cherry. So it has a purple stem, and then the stem extends to the leaf on the little leaf stem. It's got little flat. Oh, hold on. Did I just. Okay, no. Hold on. Get back. When I'm not flicking them by accident. It has little flowers shaped like a pentagon with dark honey guides in the center. Although the other ground cherries around here, they, the colors in the center might vary wildly from plant to plant. So I'm not sure if that continues with these guys. But... Top side of the flower. I just forgot what this part is called. It might be called the petiole. But that thing has little star-shaped thingies that hang down over the flower. It's also visible when it's forming fruit. And then the fruits are like extra elongated little things like that that form pentagon shapes as they get bigger how big this one is. There's a bunch in here, as you can see, they form paper lanterns, again, like tomatillos for regular gardeners. And last year we had some also planted by birds, but none of the fruits got to the ripe stage, I don't think. So, yeah, but all of, oh. I'm not sure why it's called heart leaf, because I, I wouldn't call this a heart-shaped leaf at all. But it has that purple stem going down, and it continues on each of the little side veins until it gets too skinny to see. It's got really ragged, but rounded edges. Some of the leaves are pretty big. Yeah, I have no idea why this is called heart leaf. That's not descriptive. And yeah, it's got lots of little flowers. There's also a morning glory in here, so this thing is the morning glory. Here's a flower bud up here. Let's zoom in. You can see the kind of star-shaped petal skinny thingy majiggies. Whatever the scientific word is. But this was planted by a bird in my plant pot, even though it has mulch. So, yeah. But if you find it in a plant pod, if you find this growing near you, post it to inaturalist.org because there's not many observations. I guess people don't notice it or just don't think it's worth posting about. But anyways, that's it. August 4th, 2023. I mean, September. I hope I said September at the start of the video. September 4th, 2023. Bye-bye.